Welcome to another FM synthesizer tutorial. In this video I'm going to discuss algorithms and I'm going to look at algorithm structure and how that affects operator function. So in subsequent videos when I show you my process for creating sounds uh, I'll be looking at my algorithm selection process and how I determine which algorithm is the best to use depending on the type of sound I'm wanting to create. So the first thing we need to identify is that uh, FM synthesizers only produce one kind of waveform and that is a sine wave. Each operator in an FM synth produces its own sine wave. So depending on the synth that you have, you may have a four operator synth I've got a six operator synth, so that means I have six individual sine waves that I can work with to create new sounds from. Algorithms are pre-configured arrangements of operators. These arrangements determine the signal path of one operator's sine wave output into another operator or directly to the amplifier circuit. A signal path starts at the top of an algorithm and flows down toward the bottom. In an algorithm, operators use their sine wave to perform one of two functions. As a modulator, an operator alters the waveform of the operator connected below it by increasing or decreasing its sine wave output level. As a carrier, an operator feeds its sine wave output directly to the amplifier circuit. If a carrier has one or more modulators connected to it, then its sine wave can be altered before it is output to the amplifier circuit. The amount that a carrier's waveform can be altered by is determined by the number of modulators connected to it, how the modulators are connected to it, how high each modulator's output level is set, and how high the feedback level is set. An algorithm normally assigns one modulator a feedback loop. This allows a modulator to modulate itself, further increasing its wave shaping potential. The amount of feedback can be increased and decreased. There are four main types of algorithm configuration, and some algorithms feature combinations of these arrangements. The first is a stacked algorithm, where you may have one or more modulators connected in series to a single carrier. A stack consists of at least one carrier with one modulator connected to it, and there can be multiple parallel stacks in a stacked algorithm. Branch algorithms have multiple modulators connected to a single carrier. Root algorithms have single modulators connected to multiple carriers. And carrier-only algorithms have multiple operators in the carrier position. Because these carriers have no modulators, there is no potential to alter the shape of each carrier's sine wave in this algorithm. So let's look at uh, stacked algorithms. I've got an example here from the original DX7 library. This is orchestra. And orchestra consists of two sounds, the first being our uh, brass, and the second being our strings. So we have an algorithm that's got two carriers. Each of those carriers is being modulated to produce each of those tones. And we are hearing the combined results of those two carriers playing at the same time. E-Piano 1. E-Piano 1 this time has three carriers and each of those carriers has its own modulator. So looking at the individual parts of this sound, we have the initial tine, this is the mallet, and finally the sustained noise. And together three parts to this sound. Okay, so moving on, we've got, uh, let's look at branch algorithms. Yeah. So, let's, this is a sine wave on a branch algorithm. And this is the first modulator modulating. And this is the second. Let's compare this with if those operators were stacked. That's our carrier. This is the first modulator. And this is the second 
modulator. So what we're hearing is uh, clearly a, a big difference when that second modulator is introduced. So let's see what's happening there. If we take it away and just listen to a single modulator with the carrier, this is the branch. And this is the stack. So obviously those are identical. There's no change there. So it doesn't matter uh, where the modulator is oriented in this sense the signal path is still directly connected to the carrier so it is modulating and producing the same uh, result. When we introduce the second modulator however in the branch algorithm the second modulator is not connected to the first modulator it's connected directly to the carrier and so this is the sound we get but in a stack it is connected to the first modulator. It is not connected to the carrier. And so what happens is that because it's modulating the first modulator, the resulting waveform is a lot more complex. It has more overtones and harmonics before it reaches the carrier. And so the carrier is affected to a greater extent. The difference between stacks and branch algorithms only really occurs when you are introducing a second modulator. So moving on, let's look at a root algorithm. Now root algorithms uh, <clears throat> are basically single modulators feeding multiple carriers, which means that if a single carrier is modulated one way, then multiple carriers being connected to the same modulator directly will have the same result. So this is a really good algorithm to use if you're wanting to duplicate sounds. Uh, also, if you're wanting to basically just beef up a single waveform, um, when you're adding duplicates of itself, you're just increasing amplitude because the, because the digital nature of the synth, every copy of itself is going to play perfectly in sync. So let's, uh, let's just program one really quickly. So there is my sawtooth, and this is actually two sawtooth waveforms. This is the first, this is the second, and this is both of them. So I've just doubled the amplitude of the tone because I have two identical tones playing perfectly in sync. One thing I can mess with between the carriers is their uh, course frequencies, for example. So one of these could become a square wave because of its... Uh, course frequency ratio to the modulator. So here I have a square and I've got my sawtooth. So one carrier is producing a square, the other carrier is producing a sawtooth. And together I have a combination. Of course I can adjust their output levels to create a new mix. But this is a really cool way of uh, utilizing, uh, again, a really economical approach to my operators. I can have one modulator creating two distinct waveforms by using a root algorithm. And finally, we have our uh, carrier-only algorithms, which um, without modulators are only going to produce sine waves. So the only things that we can really adjust on these are output level, pitch, uh, envelope. And these are really good for organs. All of our classic DX organ tones are normally produced, if not exclusively produced, by carrier-only algorithms. So that's a quick overview of the four algorithm types. Um, it's a little insight into how I look at them and how they differ from each other, how they can be used. And in subsequent videos, I'll be um, showing you uh, more demonstrations of how I use these to create my sounds. There's plenty more to show you with the DX7 and I do plan on uh, doing some more elaborate complex videos uh, getting into the the real balls of <laughs> of these machines but I think it's um, really important to start with the basics first because that's where most of us come unstuck. So thanks for watching. <laughs>